So let's talk about how we can change the way this character looks on this slide when the learner clicks on any of these three sticky notes. Now I've already set up some other things on this slide for interactivity. You can see over here in my trigger panel I've got quite a few things. Basically what's happening here are um, a couple of things. When the learner clicks on a sticky note I'm changing the state to visited so it's going to either say a no or a yes like we see here on the note itself and I'm also revealing a layer that I've created um, over here in my layers panel. I've got these layers that display different captions um, showing what the, the character is saying depending on which sticky note the learner clicks on. So those things are in place but now I also want to have one more thing happen. I want to change the way this character looks when one of these uh, sticky notes is clicked. So to do that we're going to set up um, a few states for the character and then use triggers to tell Storyline when we want those states to appear. So let's select our character and then down here in the states panel I'm going to choose edit states and now we can click this new state button and we can give the state whatever name we want. I'm going to call this one sticky one because that's what we want to appear when the learner clicks on the first sticky note. So we'll click add and at first it's going to look just like the normal state but now we can make it look however we want by coming up here to our character tools. You'll see this design tab and this is where I can change the pose or the expression or the perspective of our character. So for the expression let's have her um, use a surprised expression and for the pose we'll have her hands facing outward like that. So that's what the um, sticky one is going to look like when the learner clicks on this first sticky note. And now we'll create a couple more states. So I'll choose new state again and this one we'll call sticky two click add and then do the same thing. Up on the design tab we can choose a different pose. How about for this one we'll have her arms crossed and for her expression we'll have her use an asking expression. And then one more we'll click new state again and this one we'll call sticky three and click add and then do the same thing. So we'll choose a different pose. Um, how about we have her arms up this time and for expression we'll have her looking up and that's about all we need to do. So now we'll, we can click done editing states and now that our states are in place we just need a trigger to tell Storyline when we want those states to be revealed. So what I'm going to do because the states are kind of based on you know the learner clicking on these sticky notes I'm going to select the first sticky note right up here at the top and um, over here in the trigger panel we're going to attach a trigger to that shape. So we'll click create a new trigger and now we tell Storyline what we want to have happen and when. Um, the action is already selected for us it looks like change the state of and we want to change the state of the character right which is right here character one. And we want to change her state to sticky one. Okay it's one of the custom states that we just created when the user clicks on this rectangle that we've uh, got selected right now. So that is all we need to do. So it's telling Storyline change the state of character one to that first custom state we created when the user clicks on that rectangle. And then we can click OK and that part is done. And we could go through the same steps for the other two rectangles here but I'm just going to use my copy button in the trigger panel and copy that trigger and then we'll edit it. So I've copied it and now we'll select the second sticky note and then click paste. Our trigger goes into place just like we want and now we just need to edit what state gets revealed. Everything else is all fine so we're changing the state of character one to not sticky one but sticky two in this case and that's all we need to do and then again we're going to select the third sticky note paste the trigger to it and now we just adjust what state gets revealed so in this case it's going to be sticky three and now if we preview this we should see that not only does the appearance of these sticky notes change and the caption change but the um, the character's expression in pose should change too so we'll click the first one we see her expression and her pose change. Click the second one, expression and pose change again. And in the third one, we get that third custom state that we created. So that's all you need to do. It's how you can change the way your characters look based on um, other things that the learner interacts with on your slide.